So today I will、uh, introduce you guys that how to hack a Zigbee device, and、uh, well, I seems it seems that you guys are really tired, so I will make this quick. Yeah, and、uh, well. Uh, in the speaker room,、uh, somebody invited me to drink beer, so I'm a little bit high. <laughs> yeah. So I'm from the Chihu company and the Unicorn team. And、uh, exactly, we got、uh, the three topics in this Dev DevCon. So really cool, ah.、Huh? And okay, let's try this. Oh, cool. So Unicorn team, and、uh, we focus on the hardware and uh, radio success,、um, security, and、uh, research. And、uh, we contain a lot of brilliant people that、uh, we focus on the anything that、uh, use radio technologies and、uh, from small things like RFID, NFC, and WSN, something like that, and.、Uh, Uh, GPS, UAV, such as the drones, we hack it. We let them landing in the,、uh, you know, Beijing, such as or you, well,、uh, in America, such as the White House. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, during research, and、uh, we make a lot of products, and uh, we uh, sell it on the vendor area. Oh, well, actually, we sold them out. So maybe you guys haven't buy it. And、uh, well. Mm, let's just pass this this page. <laughs> and、uh, what is this? Why this this talk is relevant、uh, relevant to you? So、uh, maybe you guys are hackers, and、uh, you might be able to control your Zigbee devices and uh, uh, without uh, authorization. And、uh, this talk we you will teach you how to hack it, and、uh, such as your、um, uh, your smoke sensor. Your H A V C system, and、uh, well, if you control them or not yours, and uh, uh, well, you can know everything. So, what is Zigbee?、Uh, Zigbee is just the only global wireless standard that、uh, it prevent、uh, provides the foundation of the Internet of Things that uh, uh, by em embedding a simple and smart object to work together. And improve the comfort and efficient and in your everyday. So maybe you guys use some IoT devices, and、uh, if you disassemble it, you will find oh, this is a big chip. So it's just a wireless language that every day device used to connect one from other. And in fact, the ZFB will be able at work in your home right now. So maybe someone buy a smoker. Alert!、Uh, well, it, if you disassemble it, well, you might find one. So, well, blah 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 blah.、Uh, yeah, <laughs> I suppose that you guys maybe you know that somebody don't know what ZigZB, so I introduce it.、Uh, so, ZigZB is widely used in the Internet of Things, and、uh, it.、Uh, Adapted in applications that require the low power compute、uh, consuming machine, and、uh, we, it will flexible the network te、uh, topology. And、uh, so this is the Zigbee's network. And you got a star, you got a mesh, and you got a tree, and、uh, it's it's very different. And、uh, we will introduce it later. So、uh, the most important thing in Zigbee is the, the star. So what is this star? It's a specification and the implement of Zigbee,、uh, start from the Texas instrument、uh, that、uh, based、uh, the CC two five three O, yeah, and、uh, which is the、uh, IEEE eighty point fifteen and point、uh, four embedded chip. While in the other world, Zigbee standard is written in Planxit, while Zigbee the Z track Z stack is written in code. So here is the chip. And、uh, you can buy it on the Texas Instrument.、Uh, the you can, well, you can actually you can、uh, get it free on the line. So、uh, actually, a lot of people that uh, uh, will research the security、uh, problem in Zigbee, and they have done a lot of things. 
the ZigBee, uh, uh, what, I, what I done is based on them, so thank you. Thank you. And uh, ZigBee security is based on uh, symmetric keys and uh, both the original letter and the uh, reception and uh, in a protected trans transition, so need to the same key, where it's just a simple uh, key exchange. Uh, mm, so if you want to know, you guys want to know more details, you can just download, uh, just download the document and uh, you research on it. So the here is a key distribution theme, and uh, you can pre-install it, you can transport it, you can establishment. Well, there are three keys types: the master key, the lint key, and the network key. So hacking ZigBee step by step, uh, the here is the what I what I want to say and what I want to teach you guys. And uh, you know, here is the map that uh, how the ZigBee transfer the information from one to one. I think they uh, so share with the a uh, my thinking process. The following is a systemic diagram. Diagram, yeah. Uh, is a smart uh, is a smart uh, body system that will well that's a very very uh, that's what the vendor call is and uh, but uh, audience will soon see it if it's not that smart yeah we bought it from the internet so here are the step three normal control flows while well, your phone uh, connect with the IoT gateway the, and uh, connect with the blog. And uh, or your phone connect the wireless router, and uh, the router will connect the IoT gateway, and uh, connect the bottom, uh, bulb. and uh, the phone or just use the 4G or 3G or 2G the the uh, the, the internet and uh, connect it to the server, and uh, uh, connect the wireless router, then connect the IoT gateway, then. Uh, it's our target. So what we want is to directly control uh, the, uh, the bulb that we are, uh, our own Zigbee node. That's just the, the Zigbee node and to the bomb. So that's how we hack it. Oh, that's a mistake. So uh, the whole transmission is uh, uh, encrypted. So what what we do is try to find the encryption key from the firmware. Uh, yeah, actually. So you need to, if you want to find it, the first thing you need to do is to download the firmware. So the keys are stored in every node in the network. So as the problem is harder to disassemble, uh, so we chose to extract the key. A, uh, from the gateway. Oh, so here is the issue. So the, uh, the, here is the light, and uh, I try to disassemble it. I cut it. Well, actually, finally, I use a hammer to smash it. Uh, well, so I, I say, wow, this is a chip. Well, it doesn't work. It's broken. So, yeah, 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 it's my mistake. And I only got one of it. So let's, uh, so before I smash, uh, this could be a bomb, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I try to disassemble the, the getaway. Okay. So we disassembled the uh, getaway and we try to find, uh, we try to dump the firmware. Okay. As the red arrow indicated, the debug interface is right there. And so we soldered it on a few wires, we connect it in our debugger, and we use the TI Smart IF. Uh, flash program to dump the firmware. So if you want, if you guys to dump some, uh, uh, dump some uh, firmware from your device, well, this debugger is necessary. Okay, here is a screenshot of it, and uh, it's the programmer software. Yeah. Well, we got the firmware. So there's a lot of you know many things. So what should we do? Well, if you're just trying to find the encrypted key from it, that well, what you do is just to try to find your wedding rings from this garbage. <laughs> so here is the way I try to find the encrypted key. So first, uh, we set the keys to the distinct uh, signature. 
uh, then find in the firmware uh, and uh, see what if we could discover something interesting. So as a kids used to encrypt uh, the package. So why do we not find the instruction that uh, manipulates the keys? So uh, let's try to reverse it. So we found that the instruction is used to uh, restore a key that has relati uh, relatively and a fixed parent and shown in the next slide. And uh, the four, uh, the, the, the four con con uh, con consecutive uh, move to in move instruction will could be used as a fault or signature uh, to for the address of the key. So here is the uh, most important uh, instructions that uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, so if you if you can see it clearly, maybe you can download the, the slide. It's okay. Let me have yeah. So. In this red screen, yeah, uh, you can see there. Yeah, uh, so you can see the structures and uh, the hex values, and uh, that's the flow that I try to find out the key. And uh, actually, there's two keys. Yeah, the uh, the stored and the exchange key. So if you guys want to hack it, then you need to find the two keys to decrypt the uh, decrypt the key package. So uh, we use this to as a uh, uh, signature, and so on the upper right corner, the instructions that manipulate uh, the network key, the uh, OX31 and the OX80. So it's the memory address that stores the keys. So as shown, this the left, uh, lower left corner. So on the up, up right corner is the instructions that uh, uh, manipulate the network key. So it's shown. Oh, okay, this is really messy. So something going wrong in my laptop. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, that's the right thing. Yeah. It's just uh, jumped up. Yeah. So then we use the four uh, con consecutive, the most, uh, the more instruction, the corresponding motion, uh, motion code and uh, operand. Uh, so as this four numbers as a filter to search through the memory, uh, through the firmware for address for the keys. So you guys can know uh, where the keys are used and uh, how to find it and how to decrypt it. Uh, so. Yeah, that's the screenshot of this. Show the possible address of the keys. So we will verify this case is that uh, is that what we want. So in order to verify this, we entitle the uh, mic the uh, you know the uh, message integrity check contents in the package, and uh, if the deciphered package can pass the mic. Yeah, we can assert that we find the right key. So let's just, uh, so you can just write a simple script to verify it and, uh, you know, put the, all the keys where they find and uh, uh, pass through, pass through, through. Well, bingo, that's it. So that's a sniffer used to, the, uh, used to capture the package. Yeah, we just, uh, yeah, we buy it and we change a little of things. So the following screenshots shows the process that a new code joins the network. And the figure is quite self-explanatory. The network key is sending from the coordinator and uh, to join the device in plant Texas, uh, to plant text. And after receiving the network keys, the communication is Im immediately encrypted. So if it is decrypt, uh, encrypted, we can use the key that we find to decrypt it. Yeah, here is a screenshot that uh, when you do this. So uh, I want to say that uh, after we found the key, we could do something data mining to find the user habit because uh, there could be a little bit uh, uh, factors. But 
uh, the following uh, are some very, very practical attacks that we can perform. Well, we can analyze the deciphered data, we can replay and spoof, we can intercept, uh, yeah, we can just uh, uh, de uh, disassociation attack. So, when we analyze, analyze the deciphered data, well, we, after, de after we decipher uh, the data, in order to take control of, over the target device, we have to analyze the application level data and the result as following. So you can see the, uh, the, the uh, if you want to control this, and you can know how, um, uh, you know, the light, you can turn a different color that, um, uh, here is the things that uh, you can, uh, you, you can know how to control it yet. This is a bit. So the payload is 10 bytes in length. And with the last bit being the XOR checksum of the foregoing bit, byte, uh, the byte one and byte two is the planet of the target device. Where well, is in our case? Uh, in our case, this is a bomb. So, uh, we can control this, uh, this bulb in our own node. Well, this is the device that we use, well, it's actually built up our, our own. Uh, we made, we, we just, uh, you know, uh, use the Ego uh, software to draw it and uh, we just uh, print it out. So we can replan us both. So if you guys know the keys that we use, that, 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 that uh, to encrypt it, that we can uh, just uh, uh, generate the same cap, uh, cap package to join the network, uh, and uh, we can uh, send the uh, exactly the same instructions to control this light. Yes, it will, this light will, will take things, wow, you, are, you guys are the gateways, so you, now you can control me. So this is the attack flow, and uh, uh, this question is pretty hard, uh, yeah. Yeah, so you can know that uh, the NWK send the instructions to the MAC, and the got returns. Yeah, so you can now just, uh, you know the questions, so you can just uh, generate the exactly same questions that choose them to control it. So, uh, how do we protect or just, you know, prevent it for, uh, our device is hacked by this way? So, uh, uh, you, can know, you can know just the story of hearts of the encrypt, uh, you can just know, you can know, just, if you just to store your encrypt keys that uh, in your firmware, where it's not safe. So you can just uh, store a hash of the encryption keys that in, uh, instead of the plain text, and, uh, you know, don't use the OTI, you know, yeah, aka uh, over the air key, uh, providing the same, and uh, use pre-install or key, uh, no get detection in instead. So, blow the fuse to prevent the firmware from being dumped, uh, such as use some security boots and uh, use a special protections to, uh, to uh, at basically, you, you guys don't have to leave a debug port on it. So, so every hack seems, wow, there's, a, there's some things, wow, you can, I can hack it. So don't leave it. So the employee of the, uh, some lightweight encrypt, uh, uh, employee the, uh, some lightweight encryption on the application data to make the analysis of the application data uh, is hard after key comprised. So here it is. Actually, I, I'd like to say something else yet. Uh, actually, the, this, um, the, this slide is not, uh, it, uh, this presentation is not mine, and uh, it's my colleagues. And uh, uh, well, actually, unfortunately, his visa got rejected by the VO, so he can't make it. Uh, so I, I just uh, replaced him, and uh, well, actually, I, I'm not familiar with his work. I just uh, see him he always he, uh, sits, uh, play, uh, face his laptop and uh, do something else. Well, I, actually, I don't know. Why? What are you guys doing? Yeah. So, 
and uh, he sent him this slide that says, oh, now you can speak, uh, replace me, you can speak with me. Actually, I don't know what are you doing, so how do I replace for you? Yeah, so I'm really, really sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so actually I did my, uh, I have done, already done my presentation yes, uh, last, uh, yesterday, it's about the female cell, yeah, it's actually I, I'm familiar with my work, not his, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, actually, uh, here is the, uh, you, you know, here is the, uh, uh, the, 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 the worker that my colleague is that my former former colleague that helped him a lot and uh, uh, well actually hey, if it, this is you know uh, if you guys to want more, know want to know more details that you can contact with the on um, Twitter or the emails that's okay so I'm really sorry about him I think that is it. this which ended I I should ask him from hey can you invite me to to a lunch and uh, you know, I did a lot, yeah. <laughs> I'm very nervous. <laughs> because I, this is not my work. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. So, thank you. So if you guys have got a question, uh, I think I can't answer you, I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it.